Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chia. Today's video, I will say OMG. Probably the biggest haul I've ever done in my whole life. I've never ever spent so much money, but it's of course the holiday season is coming. It's not like I'm always spending so much money on everything. And I hope my mom is not watching this video because your girl has definitely treated herself too well. It's not like things always go on sale like 365 days a year, you know? So we're actually saving your money. I know I sound like straight up BS, but I'm gonna tell myself that today's video it has Black Friday, it has Cyber Monday. Pretty much all my stuff from Cyber Monday is like arriving. I will definitely make a part two for the rest of the orders, and I am going to dive into this video and show you guys what I got: my Sephora VIP sale, my Black Friday shopping, my Cyber Monday, and my holiday like actually gifting shopping like things that i'm actually giving away for people not for myself okay so firstly we're talking about sephora and you thought i'm only having one box in front of you no this is the whole picture i have never seen this big of a box from sephora it was actually three boxes from them i just combined two smaller ones into this small one so now i'm going to go through one by one for you guys to see what I got this time for Sephora. And it's gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah, just, you know, bear with me. So the first thing I got is this Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette. And I have never bought anything from Huda Beauty. I just have heard a lot of good things about them, like their eyeshadow palette, their lippies, and of course, their new Winter Highlighter Palette. It looks so pretty i don't know if you can tell from this packaging but like did you see this holograph right here and also the highlight on this girl's face o m g now i'm just gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys um i have never used your products i don't know what to expect to be honest so now let's give this guy a little bit of attention okay so apparently here is a plastic board there is frosted kiss northern lights there is winter rose and arctic glow arctic glow is a really silvery purple tinted like white highlighter i will say and the frosted kiss Ooh, it looks like a little bit different texture. It feels like mousse. It feels like one of those like creamy concealer, but not super spreadable. I don't know if that makes sense. This is a swatch. It reflects a little bit like peachy tone when the light hits on it. And then let's give the Arctic Glow a little bit try. Super silvery blue tinted highlighter. And then Winter Rolls, of course, is like a really gorgeous pink color highlighter. This is the Arctic Glow. And then here is the winter rose. And now let's see what about Northern Lights. So this is the Northern Lights, Arctic Glow, and the winter rose. I don't know if you guys can see, really subtle. That is the Frosted Kiss. The only shade in this palette that has different texture. So far, I liked it, but I don't know if I'm going to use all of these shades because like, I feel like I'm not going to use Arctic Glow that much because I personally prefer myself with warm tone stuff. I really love the Northern Lights because it's like this really gorgeous, golden, a little bit green, I would say almost. Um, otherwise, I feel like it's gonna be good if you're looking for like different colors tinted highlighter. This is definitely a really cool palette. And the next product is also from Huda Beauty. I finally got my hands on this bad boy. This is their famous Desert Dusk Palette. And it has so many beautiful shades. Um, it has 18 in total, so let's give it a look. See how exactly beautiful this palette is. And again, their packaging game is killing it. This is so pretty. Look at this one. Are you kidding me? I don't even know how I'm gonna wear this shade. I don't think I'm going to like swatch it because there is tons of many videos online. You guys can go watch. You're going to see like every swatch of each shade. You guys can go ahead. I'm going to try for myself to see if I'm going to keep it or like return it. I don't know, but it looks so gorgeous. I just don't think I'm going to return it because with the 20% off price, it's really worth it. And then the next item I got from Sephora this time is actually a collaboration with ColourPop. Um, I remember when it's around their VIP 20% off sale, like their collection just launched on Sephora website. Um, but 
Unfortunately, I just realized that everything from ColourPop collection with Sephora, they are not included in the 20% off. So now I might as well just like see for myself because I have not tried any of their Super Shock highlighter products. So that's go ahead and see if I like them. If don't, it's really likely I'm going to return them. It has three shades, Over the Moon, Spoon, and Wisp. One biggest problem I have with ColourPop is if you buy stuff from their website directly first of all they don't do return second of all you have to like hit the $30 for free shipping it's really risky for me just to order something directly from them and then without like trying them beforehand so good news is at least if I try these out and I don't like them I can at least return to Sephora so this is the first one over the moon and I will say it's just like a white silver highlighter with purple shades I would associate this color with like for sure like moonlight you know like that glow in the dark and you see that shine silky milky moon color i don't know if that even makes sense but that would be how i describe it let's give it a little rotation see how the light reflects yeah you guys can see that little purple right this is how it looks like on my finger it's really creamy but i don't think it's super pigmented you know like you can see that really subtle i don't know how i think about this i might really just return it I'm trying to put on more layers to see if it's any more pigmented it's like okay okay no offense but i'm just not a fan so there are two more shades in a trio this one is called a spoon and this one is called a whisk i'm not gonna go ahead do the swatch because i have so much stuff to talk about in this video i'll show you guys how the shade looks like it's like a little champagne-y browns color and i think this one is just like slightly darker but the packaging is super cute though it says legit as fuck and there are like three shades on the back really cute and it's super color pop so the next item i got is a brush from sephora collection it's their 205 double-ended shadow and crease blending brush and i've never bought any brush from sephora collection so one of my girlfriends actually told me that all the brushes from sephora collection are actually super underrated they're actually really good quality because like a sephora collection doesn't get hyped as much as other brands and this is the first time i'm actually going to try out online the brush looks super good for blending that's the reason why i got it because i just realized i really need a good blending brush it has like this case in here it's a double-ended brush it has a bigger side for the eyeshadow and another side for your crease maybe i'm more excited for the crease end because this kind of like q-tip shape of brush is actually what i'm looking for i have like so many shadow brushes already i'm not looking for even more but i was expecting this part to be bigger and like fluffier this is a little bit smaller than what i expected i don't know seriously chia are you going to be disappointed this time? And then the next two things I got from Sephora, they're actually real gifts for someone else. Um, I bought these two Tom Ford lipsticks for Alex's mom and Alex's brother's girlfriend. And honey, don't you ever think, come on, be creative, like lipsticks? Are you serious? Just because they're Tom Ford lipsticks or they're like so special? No, there are stories behind them, okay? So Tom Ford, they have this collection. It's called like Boys Like Girls or something. So they basically name all the lipsticks in that collection after guys and girls' names. And they're like not the normal, regular American names at all. They're like, I think they're more like European, if you guys can check online. So this one I got for Alex's brother's girlfriend, Dana. That's her name. This one I got for Dana. The shade is named after Nicholas and Nicholas is exactly what Alex Brothers name is. He actually goes by Nick, but their real name on the passport, Alex is actually Alexander and his brother is actually Nicholas. And I'm just like, Nicholas is also such a beautiful burgundy, like dark red shade. And I was just like, today, if it's just like solely because the name is Nicholas, I'll probably not even buy it. But just the fact that it's also such a beautiful shade I'm like, I'm all for it. I'm totally sold. So that is a perfect ideal gift option for Dana. And this one is for Alex's mom and the name is called Thomas. Alex's dad, he goes by Tom, but his real name is actually Thomas. So little do you know that Alex's father's family is actually German. I believe they have their own like pronunciation and I always just like heard Alex's mom called Alex's dad like 
Thomas. When I saw this like Thomas, I was like, I'm gonna get it for his mom. And it's also such a beautiful like nudie pink color, really suitable for his mom. Apparently like you don't wanna buy, you know, like someone's parents like a really loud dramatic color because they might not actually use it. I can see this like easily become her like everyday go-to. And then the next item I got Sephora looks kind of crazy. This is my first time actually seeing it in person and I am so shook. Look at this packaging. <laughs> With the ring light, the light is like hitting on this packaging. If you are ho, you're crazy. Extra ho, seriously. Okay, so is this ride or die eyeshadow palette from the Violet Voss Pro. Um, I don't even know how many shades here. Oh my gosh, there are 42 shades in this palette. Um, I'm going to open this right or die up to see. I am actually still in shock. It's a little bit too much, right? But I would say this is probably like the best value item this time because 42 shades, that's... Give it a look. Oh my god, are you serious? I was hoping that it's actually gonna look different inside, but it looks exactly the same. It's so extra, like... How am I supposed to hold this in my hand and do my makeup? Who am I? I'm so not ready. Like, what is gonna be in there? Like, is it gonna be Narnia? Ooh. Ooh. Look at how many shades. Oh. Um, this is like a massive palette. They actually name like all the shades with like human beings names too. So we're seeing like Erica, we're seeing like Isabella, Stephanie, Riley, Courtney, Rachel, Skylar. I feel so stressed out to complete a makeup look with this palette. I just feel like there's so many options. I don't know which one to pick. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. This one, the Stephanie. Oh my God, it's definitely freaking pigmented. Look at this. I'm literally just giving it like a tiny swirl and this is like the pigmentation on my fingertip. Oh my God, look at how pigmented it is. Like seriously, look at this color. My skin color is like fully covered. It's not showing any of my skin at all. Wow. Okay. Okay, girl. I see you. Bright Odine palette is pretty impressive. I mean, that's like only one shade out of 42 shades. This color is actually so pretty. It looks like a charcoal purple color. And this one, all of these like black galaxy color with glitters, they're so hard to make it pigmented. And should I just like give it a try right now? I feel like I should. Please just impress me. If you wanna impress me with one shade, just impress me with everything. Okay. That is a tiny bit swirl on my fingertip. Not bad. It still shows a little bit of my skin, but once again, I always feel like those galaxy glittery black shades are so hard to make it super pigmented and beautiful. Um, but this one, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And then the last item I got from Sephora this time was this rose cleansing wipes. I'm going to Mexico for my Christmas really soon. And before that, I'm going to get my lashes done just so that I don't have to worry about my makeup. I don't have to wear makeup really. Um, it's so hot in Mexico 24 7, so humid, so hot. Like, if you wear makeup, the only thing happens to you is your makeup is gonna be melted as soon as you get off your house. So, um, I'm going to get my lashes done and if you get your lashes done, you don't actually use any cleansing oil because the oil is actually going to make your lashes fall off. So that's why I was like, I'm going to order some cleansing wipes and I actually ordered a couple more, but they're out of stock because they're so good. That's what I read online too. The reviews were really good. So the only thing I got delivered in my package was this one, the rose one. And again, it's like 20% off. So originally $7.50, it comes to like, six dollars maybe with the taxes whatsoever since we're already talking about makeup i'm going to show you guys a couple things that i got from mac these are what i got this time from mac and i actually got one of the highlighters for myself and the one i'm going to give alex brother's girlfriend dana together online and then i bought another one solely from the airport so when i was traveling for thanksgiving from minneapolis to memphis to visit Alex's parents. They just moved to Memphis. And because we had our flight delayed, so I was like, I might as well just go on a shopping. I went to the skincare, the beauty department, and they're actually having good deals on skincare and makeup products. I actually got a travel size set of the Clinique uh, Moisture Surge. And then after I check out, the lady gave me a voucher for 22% off like anything in the store, like anything, just like 22% off entire purchase. So I was like, 
Oh my gosh, I literally have to go back in like five minutes. Alex was waiting for me and I was like, I promise him I'm gonna be there by 8.50 or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's only like five minutes I have to make the decision. So I went to MAC and picked up this super amazing highlighter. I don't know why I've never really shopped from MAC store. Like I always just like kind of went into their stores and like tried out a little bit of products, but I always feel like MAC is so intimidating. I'm not like hating or anything. I'm just saying that I feel the pressure for like buying something or like liking something because they seem so professional. They're so slaying on their makeup game. I don't know, like they just look more distant. And I just feel like I want to enjoy my shopping environment. But since this is like a beauty department from the airport, like I didn't really have the pressure. Like there isn't really any person bothering me at all. So I like try myself a little bit of this highlighters. It's called the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Illuminator. Am I actually wearing the show gold right now? It's a little bit pink tinted and you can only see it when the light hits you. And I really like it. But like this freaks Alex out. Like he's like, why is your face looking like purple or pink? I'm like, that's my highlighter. I literally just got it. I feel so beautiful in this. And he's like, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know why you're making your face like purple or pink. And then also like shiny. And I'm like, mm-mm. -mm. You know nothing about makeup. So this is the show gold. And then I'm also going to do like a rotation. I feel like the swatch doesn't do its justice. It looks way prettier like on my face because it's probably like more three dimension versus like on your arm, it's kind of just like flat. But like when you see on my cheekbone, when the light hits it, I really like it. Like look at that. Ooh, that's so pretty. And I'm going to show you another shade that I didn't get from the airport, but I got it online. Anyways, with 25% off. So this is another one I got for myself online and it's called Baby Blush and it's the one that's like sold out in the airport. Oh, you guys can see the blush color. Can you guys see the color change? And this year again, I feel like makeup went on sale like the craziest. I've never even seen MAC has like 25% off. Super easy, you just went online, sign up for their membership, you don't have to pay for anything, and then you just instantly get 25% off. So my online order from MAC, they actually gave me a sample size of their perfume. Um, I picked the scents of Velvet Teddy. I've never even like given a sniff from their stores. I've never tried anything from their perfume, but it looks really cute. It looks like almost like a mini lipstick. And they're also super nice because my online order, they actually came in with this super cute bag for me because they knew that it's a gift and they also combined a gift message card as well. It's super sweet. So the shade that I ordered for Dana is called Oh Darling. It's just like a super pretty beachy like browns highlighter color because we're all going to be in Mexico together for Christmas. I think this is going to be perfect for her and I hope she'll like it. And this is the only skincare product I got this time from like all of my shopping. This is the Clinique and this is the airport exclusive. So I don't think you can see like this kind of travel size set anywhere else. Um, so it's basically their moisture surge collection. It has the eye gel, it has the face spray, really important on a flight or just like refresh your face when you're at a beach. Of course, one of their most popular star items is this Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. And I love this item. I remember when I first got into skincare product in my high school, that was my first jar. That was my first item my mom got me. And I was really, really, really happy about it. It just like ever since I started getting to like beauty and skincare products, I actually haven't been back to using Clinique that much. This time, just had this like flashback of like, oh, that's actually one of my first skincare products and it was actually really good. And this is also a super good value too. You get two and a half ounce, which is 75 milliliter of the moisturizer. And then you get half ounce of the eye gel and then you get one fluted ounce of the face spray. That is about 30 milliliter. Um, I think that's a super good deal because like I think if you buy only this moisturizer, it's about like $50 around there. So like this entire set, it's only $59. It's like amazing. And of course, for the holiday season, everyone loves some good bath. So I actually went into a Lush this time. I got myself two bath bombs and I got Alex parents a really cute gift set. I can only show you guys the two bath bombs I got for myself because 
I ordered the gift set for Alex's parents online. I wanted to ship it directly to their Memphis house because I just feel like there is no point for me to bring an entire gift set all the way from here to Mexico. And I don't even think they're going to take a bath in Mexico because it's so hot. It's like 90 to 100 degrees. So I'll just insert images of the gift set I got them here. Now let's take a look of my bath bomb. The first one I got is called Sakura and it smells really subtle. I really like it because like I feel like most of the time product in Lush smells so strong like it's almost like I can't take it anymore it's so pastel with this like pale pink and a little bit of the green turquoise color and it has like this really cute speckles and then the second one I got I think this one is called Rose or Rosebud and this is how it looks like glittery macaroon looking like so pretty smells so good. So the gift set I got for Alex's parents, it's called the Jolie Holidays and it has one of the Shoe for the Stars bath bomb, another bath bomb called Thunder Snow. There is a super cute Butter Bear bath bomb. It looks like straight up like a teddy bear. And then another one is called Snow Angel Luxury Bath Oil. It looks like a bar but I don't know how it's gonna melt into oil form. Interesting. And then next one is the Santa's Christmas shower gel the last but not the least is the saucy snow cake creamy almond scented soother kind of like a buddy moisturizer bar it looks like a bar to me and then the next store i went for black friday shopping is h&m i actually did not go crazy because when black friday happened i was in memphis and i was just like with alex family so like we didn't really want to spend too much time on like shopping like we were focusing on like getting together so i only got one sweater and three nail polish in that H&M outlet in Memphis 40% off on every beauty product so like these three gel colors they are like $3.50 each they're originally like maybe $5.90 or something and the one I'm wearing right now but like they're a little bit cheap but it's a super pretty super good for Christmas also love about it so much is the fact that their applicator is actually really good like this is one of those expensive nail polish kind of applicator. It's like wide and solid. It really evens out the nail polish on your nails. I really actually prefer the wider applicator than those like super narrow but long ones. This one I found like so easy to apply on my nails. And then the second color I got is also reddish color. Like it's more of like a burnt orange color. This is the one I'm wearing right now. And the third color I got is this Christmassy shimmery gold nail polish. I mean it's classic. It's a classic Christmas shade And this one Alex actually helped me pick out I was like, hey boo, I want to get one more color, just help me like, I had problem making decisions in terms of like makeup and shades Oh my gosh, look at that pigmentation This is actually amazing I'll probably just like start being a loyal customer for their nail polish Gold, shimmery, A+. Plus. And then the sweater I got, it's just like a really simple white sweater but I love how great of the deal it was and also how chunky but not too thick it's like perfect to wear it as a single top you don't really necessarily have to layer it but it's also good for layering I really like the sweater with the baseball tee design so like you will see there is a seam here on the shoulders a little bit of the mock neck design and this sweater is only $15 decent quality it's not itchy at all and it's soft and like spongy next two stores I went on the Black Friday night the first one is the Target! Oh my gosh, everyone loves some Target stuff! I feel like Target was actually the most popping, the busiest store that went on the Black Friday night because, um, I mean, nowadays everyone kind of just shops online, like no one really goes out for a Black Friday, but Target, ooh, it was busy and it was lined. It was empty boxes, it was empty racks. I survived from the crowd. I got one sweater, $10. Look at this really cute speckles speckles is a trendy pattern this winter look at how cute this is it looks so cozy and then the next door i went on the actual black friday night was walmart if you think your girl only buys makeup and like fashion stuff no you're wrong because your girl is also electronic technology savvy i got this wireless headsets from the skull candy only for 15 dollars these are perfect for workout if you do weightlifting you actually don't want like a super long cord when you're like 
lifting weight, it's like impossible. Especially if you're doing like deadlift or like squatting with a squat rack. This is like the perfect find I got from Walmart. And Alex also got a pair for himself. And then the next store I went in before Black Friday, I think it was a Wednesday because like a lot of stores started their deal before Thanksgiving. So I actually went into Forever 21. I didn't get like a lot because the store is massive. I don't have time. The patience. It's this super cute pale pink shimmery dress with the long sleeves. I think it's really good for Minnesota winter time especially. It's like a really bodycon texture and it has this like front keyhole design. So it's just gonna show your boobs. It made my boobs look really good. I was like, ooh. Wow, I really think it's super gorgeous and I'm for sure going to wear this to one of those parties. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video, which is also the last thing that I got in person so far because I still have so many packages I haven't received. I actually went into Victoria's Secret this time. I didn't go crazy either. They actually had really good deals going on for the Black Friday, $35.00. Every bra, they're originally like $50, $60 because I got like a couple coupons from them before and one of the coupons is 20% off on a bra and another one is a free panty. So I got to use the 20% off on top of it and I got this push-up bra. I don't know if it's really weird to show you guys their bras but like I got this very sexy push-up bra in this like shimmery new color and I also got a free penny from them and I'm not going to show you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much about it and for sure there's going to be part two for my holiday shopping, Cyber Monday shopping, whatever is left. I hope you guys really do enjoy this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The thousand subscriber goal is still going on. If we hit a thousand subscribers, Alex and I are gonna film like how we met each other story time video. Please go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell. But whenever I post a new video, you get a notification. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.